Greetings, my brothers and sisters. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. We thank God for his goodness, his kindness, his tender mercy. Uh, we thank him for who he is and what he is. And here we are today virtually due to uh, the inclement weather. We want to do this live today from my home. I want to give you a word today. I won't hold you long. Just give you a thought for the day so you have a word today. Uh, a very familiar passage of scripture, those who are Bible scholars, a very familiar passage of scripture from Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. Again, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 through 8. And I'll be reading from the New King James Version uh, this morning uh, to let you know that. Uh, again, Philippians chapter 4. Verse 6 through 8 reads as follows. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Verse 7, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are noble, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. For the time we share together, I want to talk from the subject of God show us how to reduce stress. God show us how to reduce stress. Let's pray. Most gracious and all wise Father, I thank you for this opportunity to commune with you once again in prayer. I thank you for your goodness, your kindness, your tender mercy, and all of your bountiful and wondrous blessings you have stored upon us. And even what you're yet to do, we thank you. God, here I am again. I need you to be with me. Speak to me. Speak through me. Give me freshness and clap your word. Oh, God, help me, Lord. Speak, God, for thy servant doeth here. Open the ears of those who are hearing and viewing virtually, God. Open their, their hearts and their ears to hear and receive your word. And that your word will fall on good and fertile ground and produce fruit in days to come. God, keep me ever at the foot of the cross where you get the glory, the honor, and the life of me, your servant, God. Oh, God, let the words of my mouth, my meditation of my heart, my words, my thoughts be your words and your thoughts. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. These blessings we ask in Jesus. Now, I pray and I do thank you. Amen and amen. Let me see verses again. And it says this, verse 6 of the fourth chapter of Philippians. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to god verse 7 and the peace of god which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through christ jesus verse 8 finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are noble whatsoever things are just, which of things are lovely, which of things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Again, our subject is God show us how to reduce stress. Especially this pandemic, a lot of us are stressed. Uh, if this thing's going to ever be over and we got the uh, Omicron, uh, which is more contagious than the Delta, but the Delta is more, uh, I'm going to say, deadly than Omicron, although Omicron is more contagious. But it's stressing people out. Uh, it's stressing us out ec economically because because of the pandemic, prices of food has gone up uh, and, and buying uh, this merchandise in general. Uh, has escalated. Uh, we're in uh, an economic crisis, which brings about stress. 
Uh, we got all these elements that can cause us to have stress. But I love what Paul is saying in these three verses, how God's word will help us to reduce stress. Well, just give me a few minutes of your time. I'm not going to say how long. Because sometimes I say 15 minutes and the Lord says, no, that's not, that's not enough. So as far as the Spirit of the Lord lead me, I'll say that and then I'll be out of your way. But look at verse number six. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. The word anxious is an adjective. It is full of mental stress uneasiness because of fear of danger and misfortune greatly we worry about things that God has control of <laughs> I'm going somewhere with this we worry about things that God has control of we can't control those things so and when I'm talking to us and I'm speaking to us I'm speaking to me because there's some things that in life would just cause us to be stressed out, have great worry, uh, great anxiety uh, in our lives because of what's going on. But I want to encourage us and encourage myself that God is in control. He will never, <laughs> never be uneasy about what's going on in life today. God is in control. I got to say it one more time, one more time, one more time. God is in control. We can't control circumstances. We can't control the pandemic. But God is in control. Watch this. He says, be anxious for nothing. Be in, uh, have anxiety for nothing. Uh, but he says this. Watch this. He says, but in everything. I'm in my house by myself, but I still feel God pushing me here. He says, but in everything, prayer and supplication. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So what Paul is saying here, he says, when you have anxiety, when you uh, are worrying about great things of life, he says, go into prayer. In everything. It didn't say in some things. It says in everything by prayer and supplication. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In everything we're going through, in every anxiety, every worry, everything we, 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 that we're encountering mentally, here it is, it's in the mind, it's in the mind, it's in the mind. Mentally, he says, go into prayer and supplication. Everything. It doesn't say something, but everything. I got to repeat that. In everything by prayer and supplication. Mm. Then he goes on, he says, with thanksgiving. In other words, he said, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. He says, Go in prayer and supplication. And he says, with thanksgiving. Wait a minute. In anxiety, pray. In anxiety, supplication. In anxiety, he says this, with thanksgiving. Mm. Why does Paul say thanksgiving? My, 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 my thing is, is this. Paul is saying with thanksgiving, he says, after I get through praying, thank you, God, for you're going to bring me out. Thank you, God, you have shifted my mindset from my cares of life, from my words of life, and let you know that you got this. And since I know you got this, I'm going to give you praise. I'm going to say thank you that you going ooh, that you have given me a peace of mind. Mm. He says, and let your requests be made known to God. Wait a minute. I got to, I got to, I got to pause for Satan's identification here. He says, mm, let your requests be made known to God. Wait a minute. We always tell people before we tell God. Mm, I'm going to say it again. We always tell people our anxiety before we tell God. But he says here, let your requests be made known. Not to man, he says, but to God. Ooh, Jesus. But to God. I'm going to let all my anxieties be made known unto God. Because my friends and my best friend can't fix it. They'll give me some encouraging words, but they can't fix it. But I'm going to let my request be made known to God who can fix it and who can give me peace of mind. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Watch this. Watch this. In verse 6, it's really possible for a Christian to be anxious 
for nothing. Wait a minute. It is, a, it is possible, not impossible. It is possible for a Christian to not, woo, to not be anxious for nothing. It is possible as long as we have resource. Wait a minute. Listen to this. Resource of believing prayer. Wait a minute. Thank you, Lord. You got to believe what you're praying. You gotta believe what you're taking to God and you about your anxieties, about your word. Whereas you gotta believe your prayer and believe who you're praying to, that He will bring you out. He will free your mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Prayer is both an act. Watch this. Both an act and an atmosphere. Mm. Woo. Let me deal with this atmosphere for a moment. He says this, prayer is both an act and an atmosphere because what you say goes into the atmosphere. Now watch this. Thank you, Lord. What you say goes into the atmosphere. We got to be careful what we say because it goes in the atmosphere and the enemy can take what we say, especially when we're going negative. He will take what we say negative and use it against us. Y'all hear that? We, what we say negative in the atmosphere, the enemy can use it against us. But when you believe that God is going to keep your mind and that God is going to sustain you, even in a crisis, even in pandemic, even in, in, in uncertainty financially, God is going to bless you. Can I say it again? God is going to bless you. Trust what you're praying about. Trust who you're praying to. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Mm. Watch this. We can come to the Lord with Pacific or at Pacific times and bring Pacific requests before him. Mm, mm, mm. But it is also possible to live. This is live in an atmosphere <laughs> of prayer. You gotta have, you gotta, you live in an atmosphere of prayer. Do you not know that prayer is a weapon? I know you know it, you know it, you know it, you believe us. Prayer is a weapon. And the enemy does not want us to pray in every situation and pray in every circumstance. God wants us as believers to pray about everything for everything. Oh, I'll get to that later on in a minute, in a minute, in a minute. I'll get to that in a minute. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Anyway, I'm in here by myself, but I'm not in here by myself. God is in here, and I'm just feeling pushing me. Watch this. Watch this. It is possible that the mood of our lives should be a mood of prayer. Can I say that? The mood of life should be a mood of prayer. Every time a crisis comes, get in a mood of prayer. What I mean, every time we come in, in, in a, a point of anxiety, uneasiness, pray. That's what Paul is really saying. He's saying in verse number six, pray. Watch this. Perhaps the word of prayer in this verse signifies the overall attitude of life. Listen to this. The overall attitude of life. Prayer should be the attitude of life. Woo. Prayer. Prayer. Someone has summarized the verse as saying that we should be anxious in nothing. Okay, I said we should. Somebody summarize this. Said we should be anxious in nothing. Mm, mm, mm. Prayer in everything. Can I just do it again? We should be anxious. In nothing, prayerful in everything, and thankful in anything. Oh, that's good right there. I can stop right there, but I got to go to seven. Seven says, and the peace of God, or the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts, your minds through Christ Jesus. Wait a minute. I'm praying now. And as I'm praying, I'm leaving what my cares and my worries, I'm leaving to God. I leave all my anxieties to God. And now as I leave to him, I trust him 
and who I pray to and what I pray about. I trust him. And now as I do that and trust him, he gives me peace. I don't even, I don't even understand why I got peace. Because I should be cracking up. I should be in a white jacket, my arms like this. I should be cracking up. But I have prayed to God. I have trusted who I prayed to. And he has given me a peace, a, a tranquility that no man can give me. And I don't even understand why I'm peaceful. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just, I should be chaotic. But he has given me this peace that surpasses or passes all understanding. Why? Because it's through Jesus Christ that I have this peace. It's in him I have this peace. And I don't even, my human frailty don't even understand it. But I got peace. Why? Because I trust him. <laughs> I believe him. Watch this. This peace is like a garrison. This word garrison, one of the definitions of word garrison means it's a protection. The, uh, the, 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 the God, God protects us, protects our minds because we trust him. He protects us. Oh, and I love that. He protects us. It's almost like an army who protects uh, the United States from uh, uh, other uh, countries to coming in and, 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 and try to do wrong to the United States. God, the, uh, the, the, uh, the armed forces puts up a garrison. A protection around the United States that no one can get in. And it protects the United States. Where God sets up a garrison in our minds and protects our minds from thinking things that will cause us to worry and be in uh, distress and be in uneasiness. He, I love that. A garrison, a protection upon us. And I'm almost done, y'all. Listen to this. In verse number eight, now, first of all, before I go to verse 8, verse 6 tells us what to do. And then verse 7 tells us that he'll give us peace. That does, that passes all understanding. But then he gives us some instructions. In verse 8, he says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, <laughs> whatsoever things are noble, Whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praiseworthy, meditate on these things. He's given us instructions. This is what you think about. This is what you put on your mind. The things that are true, the things that are noble, the things that are just, the things that are pure, the things that are lovely, the things of good report, and, and if there be any virtue, uh, if there be any praiseworthy, meditate, think on these things. Well, I want to deal with these words, true, noble, just, pure, lovely, praiseworthy, and get out of your way. Watch this. He uses the word true, means not false or unreliable, but genuine and real. Think on the things that are genuine. What, are, what, what is that? Think on the things that the Bible says. Those are things that are just. Those things that those things that are uh, that we should be uh, dwelling on. Think on things that are true and 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 reliable. Noble means to the things that are honorable. The things that are honorable just means righteous, both toward God and man. Righteous, both toward God and man. He says, "Peer," which refers to the high moral character of a person's life. He says, lovely, has the idea of what which is admirable. Virtue is a course. Also speaks of moral, watch this, speaks of moral excellence. Virtue, that's what virtue is. Praiseworthy, oh, y'all know about this one. Praiseworthy is something that deserves to be commended. In other words, in other words praise him. Give God the glory. God, I don't understand why I have this peace, but I'm going to praise you. I'm going to worship you. I'm going to adore you. You have given me peace that surpasses all understanding. Mm. Watch this. God is here to reduce our, str our, 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 our stress, our worries. But let me say something before I close, and I'm about done. Because stress can give you heart attacks. Stress can give you uh, 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 strokes, can cause stroke, strokes. It can cause your blood pressure to rise up. And I'm just, God has had me share this with you all, is to tell you that God, through his word, 
show you how to reduce stress. Have you been in, in, in places, uh, points where you were even close to having a panic attack? I mean, I, I don't know about you. I've been in some situations uh, uh, where I I, I, I I almost had a panic attack. And what happened to me is only God, the Spirit of God would say, pray. And when I prayed, my anxiety left. I had a calmness. I had a peace because I took it to God in prayer. And he calmed my anxiety. Well, as I close, my brothers and sisters, I want to close with this. This is a takeaway. If I was at church, I'd have it on projected on the wall, but we don't have it today because we're virtual. But I want to share with you the takeaway. And then get out of your hair. When negativity, or when we experience negativity, and situations are coming at you, and when it seems overwhelming, then stop, take a deep breath, and simply take time to focus on something lovely and good. Mm. Stop. In other words, stop, pause, relax, and release. Pause, take time to relax and release. Mm. Watch this. Overcoming stress starts with the ability to control your thoughts. That is in the mind. In the mind. The way to control stress is the ability to control your thoughts. When a th anxiety comes in the mind, you and I got to start thinking differently. You can't dwell on the things of the pandemic and the, the, the cost of food and, and, and merchandise. We got to think differently because God, you are in control. A thousand count. Cattle on a hill belong to you. Everything belongs to you. And you, you told me, you told, oh God, God, thank you, Jesus. You said in, in, in Philippians 419, but my God, hello somebody, but my God says apply all your needs according to his riches and glory. And it means he's going to meet our needs. Everything we need, don't worry, God's got it in control. Listen to this. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. We need to, re we need to focus on the positive. Lift up things to God. Lift up things to God. Lift up things to God. We need to refocus on positive things. I'm closing my Bible now. We need to refocus on positive things. Well, listen to this. Don't worry about anything. Instead of pray about everything, tell God what you need and thank him for everything Watch this. he has done. Well, God, you brought me out of this yesterday. God, you brought me out of that last month. You brought me out of that last year. So, God, I believe you're going to bring me out of this today. So, I'm going to trust you in the midst of this trusting you. I'm going to say thank you, Jesus. Oh, I bless your name because what happens when I thank God, my whole mind shifts. My whole thought pattern shifts. It shifts to praising. It shifts to worshiping him. It, lifts, it shifts to lift him up and glorify him. It all depends on Pray about everything and let God handle everything. And listen to this. When you experience God's peace, which need, which exceeds anything, we can understand his peace will guard your heart and your mind. Wait a minute. Protect your mind. We protect your heart. If, oh, he will protect us. If we trust him, if we lean on him, God will bring us out. God has shown us how to conquer anxiety. It's in prayer. It's in worship. It's in praise. It's the way we can conquer anxiety. Oh, God, thank you. Woo! Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are God, and God all by yourself, you have given me peace. I worship you, and you have guarded my heart. You have guarded my mind, and I want to say thank you. Thank you. I should be cracking up. I should have lost my mind, but thank you. Thank you, Lord. 
and you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, the peace of God. The peace of God. The peace of God surpasses all understanding. He will guard your heart. He will guard your mind. Oh, just trust him, brothers and sisters. Trust him. Trust him. Trust him. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This is our prayer. Oh, God, show us how to reduce stress. Let's pray. Most gracious and all wise Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for your word, which shows us how to reduce stress. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you mean to us. You are everything. You are all in all. You are El Shaddai. You are more than enough. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, God. Oh, God, help us, God. Strengthen us where we're weak. Build us where we're torn down, God. Oh, God, just help us to lean more on you. Help us to trust more of you, God. Help us to pray more, God. Oh, God, just keep us. Keep our minds in perfect peace. Isaiah 26 and 3, God. Keep our minds in perfect peace. When we trust you, God, help us, God, to trust you that you may keep our minds in perfect peace, God. Oh, God, bless those who are sick, God. Touch their bodies with your mighty hand of healing. We speak, we declare healing and health be upon their bodies, name by name and one by one, healing and health, God, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray, God, you bless those who are going through, God, lift the burden, lift the load, God. Bless in a mighty and an abundant way, God, your people, God. Oh, God, I pray you bless the frontline workers, protect them and shield them from danger seen and unseen. Oh, God, I pray, God, that you just protect them, God. Oh, God, I pray that you bless those, God, uh, our fish of the world, God, uh, lead them and guide them and make the right decisions for the people of the countries, God. Bless in a mighty abundant way. Bless pastors, bless churches everywhere, God. Bless God, lead and guide and direct God. And I pray, God, you'll bless God uh, 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 those who are uh, in far off countries or who are having difficulties, God. You bless them, God. You open doors for them, God. You make ways for them, God. Bless them in a mighty and an abundant way, God. Bless this, your people, throughout this day, God. Bless them on the week coming in, God. We pray and we declare blessings be upon your people, God. In the name of Jesus, move mightily for your people, God. And God, I even ask, God, even that the storm is coming, God, I pray it will not be as bad as they say, God. I pray that it will not be as bad as they say, God. In Jesus' name we pray. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name for your glory, your son, Jesus, we pray. And we do thank you. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This is our prayer. I trust you got a nugget or two uh, from this virtual message today. God show us how to reduce stress. God bless you. God keep you. Blessings to you, the people of God. Until next time, the Lord say the same. Blessings.